Unit 2. Caught in the Rush. Page 8, Exercise 2. Perspectives. Transportation Services. Part A. Listen to these comments about transportation services. Match them to the correct pictures. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Page 9, Exercise 3, Grammar Focus, Expressions of Quantity, with Count Nouns. There are too many cars. There should be fewer cars. We need more subway lines. There aren't enough buses. With non-count nouns. There is too much traffic. There should be less pollution. We need more public transportation. There isn't enough parking. Page 9, Exercise 4. Listening. Singapore solves it. Part A. Listen to a resident of Singapore talk about how his city has tried to solve its traffic problems. Check true or false for each statement. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Page 9, Exercise 4, Part B. Listen again. For the false statements, write the correct information. Singapore has done a lot to try to solve its traffic problems. For example, to drive into the downtown business district, motorists need to buy a special pass. They can go into the business district only if they have the pass on their windshield. Another thing Singapore has done is to make it more difficult to buy cars. People have to apply for a certificate before they can buy a car. Not everyone can get a certificate. There's a limited number of them. There's also a high tax on cars, so a new one costs a lot of money. A car can cost three or four times more in Singapore than in the U.S. or Canada. The other thing Singapore has done is build an excellent public transportation system. Their subway system is one of the best in the world. And there's also a very good taxi and bus system. Page 11, Exercise 8, Conversation. Could you tell me... Part A, Listen and Practice. Excuse me, could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? There's one upstairs, across from the duty-free shop. Great. And do you know where I can catch a bus to the city? Sure. Just follow the signs for transportation. Okay. And can you tell me how often they run? They run every 20 minutes or so. And just one more thing. Do you know where the restrooms are? Right behind you. Do you see where that sign is? Oh, thanks a lot. Page 11, Exercise 8, Part B. Listen to the rest of the conversation. Check the information that Eric asks for.
Excuse me. It's me again. I'm sorry. I need some more information, if you don't mind. Do you know how much the bus costs? It's $20. You can buy a ticket on the bus. $20? Wow. Well, a taxi costs about $50. Hmm. Okay. And do you know where a bookstore is? I'd like to get a guidebook. Go upstairs and turn right. You'll see one on your left. Thanks very much. Have a nice day. You too. Page 11, Exercise 9. Grammar Focus. Indirect Questions from WH Questions. WH Questions with B. Where is the nearest ATM? Where are the restrooms? Indirect Questions. Could you tell me where the nearest ATM is? Do you know where the restrooms are? WH Questions with Do. How often do the buses run? What time does the bookstore open? Indirect Questions. Can you tell me how often the buses run? Do you know what time the bookstore opens? WH Questions with Can. Where can I catch the bus? Indirect Questions. Do you know where I can catch the bus? Page 12, Exercise 10. Pronunciation. Syllable Stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress in these two syllable words. Subway. Traffic. Garage. Police. Page 12, Exercise 10. Part B. Listen to the stress in these words. Write them in the correct columns. Then compare with a partner. Buses. Bookstore. Event. Hotel. Improve. Provide. Public. Taxis. Units 1 to 2 Progress Check. Page 14, Exercise 1. Listening. Celebrity Interview. Part A. Listen to an interview with Jerry, a fashion model. Answer the questions. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. How do you spell that? B-R-I-G-H-T-O-N. Just like it sounds. Yes. What was that like? Brilliant. It's a lovely city, right by the sea. My family still lives there. My father owns a restaurant and my mother teaches school. What did you want to be when you grew up? Well, I never thought I'd be a model. I wanted to be a doctor or maybe a writer. Why not a model? Well, I always thought I looked funny. I can't imagine it. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often.